Hello friends, how are you? I welcome all of you at an academy and in this lesson I am going to teach you about solid waste, agrochemicals, deforestation and nuclear waste. Friend, here you can read some information about me and you can follow me at this given link below for more for other updates. Now what are the solid waste? Solid waste actually refers to everything that goes out in trash and all waste that we generate can be categorized into three types that is biodegradable, recyclable and non biodegradable okay please do find out the detail one or two lines detail about this and now we have polyvents polyvents is actually a fine powder of recycled modified plastic and it can be used for the construction of highway along with the bitumen okay and it make the road means may road very very effective against the rain okay or water clogging now we have electronic waste that is e-waste copper iron silicon nickel and gold are major 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 constituent of e-waste and they can be removed during only recycling process please make sure you remember all these names because these are the very very important as the point of view uh, of prelims now we have radioactive waste initially nuclear energy uh, means was held as a non polluting way of means generating electricity but later on we realized realized the disastrous consequence of radioactive waste okay just like as the three mile island incidents chernobyl incidents and the recently fukushima disaster it has been recommended that shortage uh, stories of the nuclear waste after sufficient pretreatment should be done in suitably means sealed container buried within the rocks about 500 meter deep below the earth surface the most important thing is that you have to revise your current affairs okay uh, and please go through the bimal sir video once because he, he is covering each and every things related to these hot and uh, also static portions now the, we have deforestation deforestation is the conservation of uh, means forested area to non forested non forested one okay the tropical area is uh, have deforestation is approximately 40% as compared to the temperate has only 1% in in the in the beginning of 20th century the uh, we have 30% of forest cover and in the end of this century we have 19.4 percent of only forest cover the national forest policy 1988 of india has recommended 33 percent of forest cover over for the plain and 67 percent for hills and in in this year the forest cover in india is increased okay now the slash and burn agriculture commonly called jhum cultivation in the northeastern state of india has also contributed to deforestation okay but there are some uh, means uh, uh, there are some tribals group who who is uh, still doing some jhum cultivation effective now the effect of the deforestation may be water cycle damage soil erosion habitat loss and finally the, a, a severe impact on the human lifestyle now we have agrochemicals and their effect agrochemicals is a chemical used in agriculture such as pesticide or a fertilizer the negative impact of agrochemicals on soil health are it can alter the pH value of soil, it can kill uh, soil microbes which is present in the soil, it can damage the natural makeup of the soil and it can also kill the earthworms. The pesticides are actually used in the plant for eliminating, preventing or controlling pests like slugs, insects, fungal diseases okay, and snails and the pesticide is an umbrella term and under this we have insect for controlling insecticide for controlling insect herbicide for controlling weeds fungicides for controlling diseases rodenticides for controlling rats and mice meticides and molucides for controlling snails friends up now the, de the degradation by improper resource and utilization and maintenance look the degradation of natural resource can occur not just by an action of pollutant but also by improper uh, utilization practice the soil erosion and desertification 
uh, which can uh, which can be occurred due to the over cultivation unrestricted grazing deforestation okay and poor uh, irrigation practice okay uh, you can see the example of punjab where the over irrigation causes the salinity in the soil and resulting and finally uh, the resulting in arid patches of the land which will co convert the land uh, later in the desert like situation now we have the second water logging and soil salinity the irrigation without prone, uh, proper drainage of water leads to water logging in the soil and finally the the rate of increase in the soil salinity the water logging and soil salinity are some of the problem that have come in the wake of green revolution here we are talking about punjab majorly guys thanks a lot for paying your attention and if you are liking my effort then please rate review recommend and the share these lessons thank you